be a free kick. It's just a few yards uh, further in front and it would have been another penalty for Oakley. But again, showing that Preston has got a few problems and issues in their back line. It was a, a lot of questions in the back line. line. And of course, uh, you know, when you concede, uh, when they've uh, conceded quite a few goals in the last four weeks, here comes a shot and a big, tremendous save. save there by Selsen. Selsen does well there, but a great He was kick. unsighted with that one. What a magic save. Fantastic. Diaco, another cross. Oakley now putting more pressure on Preston. Great free kick before from uh, Billy Damianos has been outstanding so far in this game for Oakley. Him and Diaco have created most of the chances. Oakley once more on the left hand side and it's young Cusis who won the penalty in the first half in the first few minutes rather for Oakley I don't know what that was uh, Ross well it was a uh, volley attempt we'll call it that one John <laughs> as Preston now pushing forward here they come see if they can come up with a goal before half time and Dolevsky there winning the corner for his team they won a few corners that's the fourth they certainly, for have, they certainly have this lifted first a half. little bit here. Let's see if they can capitalise. Uh, gee, a goal would really lift their heads up. And and here we have it, uh, the end of the first half between Oakley Cannons and the Preston Lions. We see Oakley Cannons leading by two goals to nil. moment uh, favouring the home team, the Oakley Cannons. Well, John, first half certainly uh, a very interesting one. Uh, we saw again uh, the uh, spaces available and uh, perhaps the uh, lack of defending of the Preston Lions and it has been a characteristic of theirs uh, over the last few weeks. Sure it has, uh, Ross. Uh, Oakley, of course, uh, taking advantage of the first uh, minutes of the first half having scored two goals in the opening 10 minutes, but then uh, missing a few chances in front of the Preston goals. Preston had had a lot of corners in the first half. They showed a lot more initiative up front in comparison in to the previous In the latter half games. of the uh, first half, definitely. Yeah. They certainly uh, um, had some opportunities there, and let's hope they can continue here and, and peg it back because uh, they Surely, certainly yeah. uh, need to do a lot of work here now to get back into this game. And the goal, of course, will change the game a bit will make it a lot more interesting for the fans here at Jack Edward Reserve and the first shot there coming from Oakley in the second half and I must uh, I must admit I was a bit disappointed at the beginning of the game we saw a lot of uh, a l not many people coming down to watch the game but gee I tell you what uh, a lot of people have made it down and I honestly feel that uh, perhaps that's the reason because of the daylight savings uh, people didn't realise that the game was actually uh, uh, one hour um, difference. So let's see now. A, uh, it's a free kick uh, for free kick. Oakley on Matkovic. As Oakley now surely will look for another goal in these early stages of this uh, second half. Rosman is there, Dracos is there, the defenders coming forward to help the Oakley strikers, but the ball cleared away this time from Preston, only as far again as. The Oakley players, the ball played again. Dangerous cross there. There's a Preston trying to get the ball out of their half. And now let's see if Preston can break. Although there's a few Big blue ball, shirts Lovely back there. ball there. Let's have a look now. Here comes the shot. And straight. straight the no there. problem there for Chagall. It was Blaze Jerzyowski uh, there. Taking his time though, not a lot of pressure. A bit of a distance, a bit of a deflection, and straight into the arms of. Kajal, the Oakley keeper, who hasn't really had a lot of work to do in this game. But here comes Preston once more now. Can they do anything better with uh, Dolevsky on the ball? As they, again, outside the 18 yard box, the shot. Uh, not the best of shots there coming from uh, Filipovic. And of course, looking at the weather now, it certainly has changed. The conditions starting to get a little bit difficult uh, for both teams. Uh, the rain is coming through, which of course, as we know, will make uh, the ball 
A little bit harder to uh, control. Here comes three up forward. Three up Would forward. you believe it? What a beat. fantastic save. I cannot believe how Oakley did not score with three players just there. Unbelievable. And what a fantastic save by Salsin. Salsin working as a defender. That is the and second brilliant save he's had to make tonight, today. And I tell you what, uh, Preston Lions uh, could have been t another two goals down. So he's uh, certainly kept them in this game. Bit of a push there by the Preston strikers. There's the cross coming in. And straight into the arms though of uh, Chagall. There's a Preston. Trying to looking... get that ball up there, John. Yeah, they're looking a lot more positive in this uh, second half. They're attacking it, as you can see, Ross, the ground already wet and a lot more difficult, like you said, previous for the players as the it ball certainly is spins when, uh, away. Definitely, and uh, of course, as we know, we haven't had that many rain, um, you know, so the uh, ground conditions. Here we go now, a nice little cross, uh, a shot from outside, and that was on goal, but unfortunately, and that was a lovely was volley a there, point. I enjoyed that. And Unfortunately, uh, the Preston Lions didn't because the uh, whistle had blown. Damianos now playing the ball out wide as Oakley pushing forward. Another patient build up for the Oakley Cannons, which haven't had luck in this uh, ground so far in their games in this year's Premier League, but they have won a corner. Here comes the corner for Oakley Cannons. And way they strong there, the but header, here comes second a, header. And a more. diving header there. Yeah, another opportunity there for Frenchik. Great stuff, look at that. The diving header, just missing the target there. Good play though by Oakley. As Preston now, they're still looking for their goal in this game. But Oakley seemed well in control so far, leading two goals to nil after the, those two early goals scored in the first half. A good ball now. Lovely ball. Dangerous cross, but uh, cleared. And it will be another corner for the Preston Lions. The cross there from Bosevsky. Here come the Preston Lions. Can they peg one back here? Nice cross, but uh, cleared, away cleared again. The Preston Lions putting on a lot of pressure now. And so they should. They want to peg this uh, deficit back as much as they can. They've certainly been given that opportunity by Selsin, Damir Selsin, who's been absolutely fantastic in goal for them. Even though uh, he's conceded two goals, geez, he's kept, uh, kept them still in this game with some beautiful, beautiful uh, saves. Preston, position now in the middle of the park. The best of controls there by Kalevsky. Give me the opportunity now. Ricky Diaco with the, the ball. Still with the ball. Coming over again. I don't know what Diaco was trying to do there. He was trying to turn, <laughs> twisting and turning, but he was doing clear the away. There, I think. And again, as you can see, John Anastasiades expressing his frustration with that move from his players. But they haven't really shown. Here they come and uh, once the again the defence here looking a little bit. There's the pass. Here comes the shot, yeah, and a good try from uh, Daniel Cusis, I believe it was the player. I don't know see which player it was, but Oakley again having the opportunities cut out now. Here they come again. And, and they're calling now. the offside, but it wasn't. Jerry Carpet now, one-on-one -on -one situation. Again, Salsin unable to do so. And the ball cleared off the line. I just stayed back to watch <laughs> that one, but how did that ball not go in the net? It is beyond me. He did well to get past the Salsin there. And he went to his left, not strong enough. And what a great clearance there by the yes. defender. The and there's a big pat 
<laughs> the only defender that was at the back. And it wasn't that great to see Salson uh, patting his defender there and saying, well done. Here comes the cross again. 